Hello students, I am Shirley Raju, lecturer in economics, Indian Academy Pre-University College. The topic I am going to discuss today is perfectly competitive market and its features. Now before we go into understanding what is a perfectly competitive market, let me first make it very clear to you all what is market in economics? Market in economics refers to an arrangement where different buyers and sellers buy and sell goods and services at a given price. Now, there is no need for a physical place where the buyers and sellers have to sell and buy the goods. So the buying and selling can happen either directly or indirectly. For example, when a cloth merchant in Bangalore want to sell his goods to another cloth merchant in Bombay or Surat or any other place, he need not have a physical contact, rather he can fix the business through a telephone contact or through a mail and they can decide about what quantity of goods can be sold and at what price it can be bought and sold. So in this case, what is happening is the buyers and sellers are not coming in physical contact. Rather, they are trying to sell the goods through various means of communication. Now that we have understood what is a market, now let us try to understand what is a market structure. Now the selling environment of the goods that are produced by the firms and the consumers purchase these goods is known as the selling environment and that is what is called as the market structure. The market structure actually studies the various economic models which helps us to understand the real market situation as well as the market situations that does not exist in the reality. So all this together is studied under what is called as market structure. Now the market structure depends upon three important elements. Element number one, the number of firms that are producing a particular product. It is also known as degree of competition. Number two, the number of firms that are allowed to enter and exit, which means to say there is free entry and exit of firms or whether there is no free entry and exit of firms to produce a good or a service. And element number three is about the nature of the product that is to be produced. The nature of product is of two types. Number one, homogeneous product. Number two, heterogeneous product. So homogeneous product or heterogeneous products can be produced. So these three elements are the one which decides the market structure. Now based upon the degree of competition, the entire market structure is classified into perfectly competitive market or perfect competition and imperfectly competitive market. Now an imperfectly competitive market is further classified into four types. Number one, monopoly market. Number two, duopoly market. Number three, oligopoly market. And number four, monopolistic competition. Now, let us try to understand in detail about what is a perfectly competitive market or what is a perfect competition. A perfect competitive market or a perfect competition is a market situation or it is an arrangement or I can say it is a structure where there are large number of sellers and large number of buyers buying and selling homogeneous products at a given market price. I specify here at a given market price. So there is a single price that is prevailing in a market and there are large number of buyers and large number of sellers. A very good example for a perfectly competitive market is agriculture in India. Basically, without the interference of the middlemen. That is a perfect example for a perfectly competitive market. The most important feature of a perfectly competitive market is, number one, 
right? There are large number of buyers and sellers. Now, this is one of the most important characteristic feature of a perfectly competitive market. Because if we have to consider a market as a perfectly competitive market, definitely there should be a large number of small sellers selling homogeneous products. Now, it is not only that there are a large number of sellers, but these large number of sellers cannot influence the price in the market. Each firm will produce the products and sell that in the price that is prevailing. So there is only single price and at that price, the firms are selling the commodities. On the other side, there are also large number of buyers and all these buyers buy the products at a given price in the market. Now, please note here, this is a feature that represents the seller side of the market, wherein both the seller and the buyer cannot influence the change in the price. This is the most important feature of a perfectly competitive market. Feature number two, homogeneous products. As already told in the meaning of what is a perfectly competitive market, one of the highlighted and the prerequisite characteristic of a perfectly competitive market is that they sell homogeneous product. Now, what are homogeneous products? These products are similar in character, which means to say there is no product differentiation. All products sold by this large number of small sellers are producing and selling similar types of products. For example, there is no change in the color that is, the products sold by these sellers are similar in color, size, shape, uh, structure, etc. So, which means they are identical in character and we cannot differentiate them from the different sellers. So, this is yet another important characteristic feature of a perfectly competitive market. A very good example that I can give you for a homogeneous product that are sold in a perfectly competitive market in the present scenario is the bottled water. So when you look into the bottled water, they look similar and the content of the water is same, the bottling is same, the price is almost the same. So therefore, it is one of the very good example that I can give you. And apart from this, right, all the fruits and vegetables that are sold in the market are also a very good example for homogeneous products. The third most important feature of a perfectly competitive market is free entry and exit of firms. Now, since there are a large number of firms selling and producing similar commodities, there is a stiff competition between the sellers. So, it is very difficult for some of the sellers to make maximum profit. So, if they feel that the firms are not able to face a competition and make enough profit, they can exit the market. At the same time, if there are new firms who are willing to enter, produce the same commodities and face the competition, they are also welcome and there is free entry allowed. So there is no restriction on entry and exit of firms in a perfectly competitive market. Now coming to the fourth important feature, there is perfect knowledge about the market, both by the sellers and the buyers. The buyer and the seller has perfect knowledge about what they want to buy and at what price they want to buy. The seller has a perfect knowledge about what they want to buy and what they want to produce and what they have to sell. So since the market information is very clear both for the buyer and the seller, definitely there is perfect knowledge of what is produced and at what price the products are sold in the market. And that is how a perfectly competitive market functions. One of the next important feature is price taker feature. That is, each firm in a perfectly competitive market are price takers. What does it mean there? A price taker firm is a firm that cannot influence the change of price of a product in the market, which means to say that a price taking firm has to sell their commodities at the price that is given in the market. 
so no single firm can influence a change in the price so they have to sell their commodities at the market price and they can either earn maximum profit or they may not earn profit so for example let us assume that there are three firms producing a particular commodity say for example cycle so say firm a is producing cycle firm b is also producing cycle and firm c is also producing cycle if firm a and b follows the market price or fixes the market price for the product and if firm c is selling higher than the market price definitely there will be no buyers for the product that has been produced and sold by firm c why because no there is perfect knowledge about the market and the firms are those who are selling at a given price alone will get market and the other firm will not get market for its product at the same time if the firm is ready to sell the commodity at a given market price they will get profit and they can sell the commodity and earn maximum profit so a price taker firm is always a firm that is in a perfectly competitive market all firms are price takers and no buyer nor a seller can influence the price in the market now all these features play a very important role in a perfectly competitive market so to conclude firms are independent to produce whatever goods they want to produce and a perfectly competitive market is a highly competitive market all the features clearly says that a perfectly competitive market is a highly competitive market and each one of them have to strive hard to see that there is maximum output produced and there is maximum price that is given in the market and they get maximum profit out of it now a perfectly competitive market is also a benchmark to analyze various other markets in the society hope this information is helpful for you all thank you